All right, we're here uh, at Target now. Gonna see how good of a job Target is doing of limiting crowds more than 10. There we got Target in the background and me there again. It's uh, 1230, Friday, March 20th. Should have a good view of my face and Target. We'll certainly get it right there. So walking in. So again, you know, my main contention here is that if I have to close to sell the products that the state deems are unnecessary right now, so too should every other retailer that sells those products. Stores like Target that have grocery, that have um, pharmacy, no problem, stay open. But oh look, they've got caution tape. So there's no reason that there shouldn't be caution tape right here, directing everybody from here to going right back that way to where the food and pharmacy is. But instead, they're open for business. You got people shopping around, people buying items that aren't essential, that aren't health supportive, that aren't life supportive. You know, I've got no problem with people buying things. It's part of our economy. But I'm being told right now, my business must stop. My business needs to be shuttered. And yet here we are with all kinds of people doing all kinds of shopping. So again, here we are walking through the store. All departments are open. All shelves are decently stocked. You know, there's nothing in chaos you know, where shipments were meant to be put away last night, but didn't because Target had its employees well being to be concerned about. You know, we've got, we got people all over this place. I mean, let's, let's browse by the electronics and then we'll circle back to the uh, home goods and uh, see how many mattresses and pillows and sheets and protectors are available to buy. We'll see how well the st shelves are stocked. I mean, there is not anything in this department here that is essential. Not a single thing. Not a single thing in these aisles yet. Shelves are stocked. They're clean. They're tidy. So that means in all this crisis, Target's had its employees here working, putting everybody at risk potentially, so we're told. And, uh, you know, we have to, uh, we, my business has to shut. We have to go into the lockdown mode because we're the little guys. Well, I'm not having it and you shouldn't either. So here we are, look at this. Look at this company, one of the biggest fraud companies there is, Casper. Um, right there, I mean, I sell that stuff. Why can't I be open right now? Anybody, anybody could buy this stuff right now if they're in the store and they wanna buy it, but they can't come to my store. Nope, because we have to close. Why isn't there caution tape there? Why isn't there caution tape there at the end of the row, sectioning this off? If we're, if we're to uh, not have people out for unnecessary reasons, why can't they be in my store? Why can they be here? Why is one different than the other? There's zero reason that Target couldn't enact a policy where their, uh, where their, uh, their, remainder of the store unrelated to food unrelated to medicines unrelated to produce would be shut down there's zero i mean look at this furniture stores i mean i've got a lot of friends that operate independent furniture stores in pennsylvania they could sell all this stuff you know people are going to be home they're, they're going to want to do some projects okay fine well then the government needs to mandate that all options are shut if some options are going to be shut the government can't pick winners and losers that is just wholly unfair all right, so let me focus in on uh, focus in on where where beds might be. So we got pillows. I mean, I, my stuff. I sell all this stuff. Why can't Why can't I sell it right now? Why did Why does Target get to? Why does Walmart get to? Why does Lowe's get to? Uh, why does Home Depot get to uh, have a customer place an order for a mattress online, pick it up in the store? Why Why is that allowed? How is that fair? You know, uh, it's not. The government is not allowed to pick winners or losers. I mean, again, here's, here's stuff I sell. I sell mattress encasements. I sell cooling protectors. I can't, government said I can't, but Target can, Lowe's can, Walmart can. Really not fair. So, just kind of browsing around here. Sorry, I get a little, a little amped up. Maybe right here. Here's toppers. I mean, again, more stuff that uh, that I sell that I can't. You know, I can sell all that stuff, but not right now, because the state of Pennsylvania said no, no, you can't do that. 
you're not allowed. That's what they said. They've shut my business down, made me lay off my employees, made me scare my customers. But nope, Target, yeah, sheets, I mean, all this stuff. Totally unfair. So, you know, maybe this is one of the targets. It's not a, it's not a big target, as, as big as some of I've seen, but, uh, you know, maybe this one has that bricks and clicks thing going on, you know, where you know, order a mattress and it ships to the store and you pick it up. Uh, but that can be done here, I guess. I mean, there's nothing stopping anybody from doing that. I mean, again, I sell all this stuff. Why, uh, why can't I sell it right now? How fair is that? It's, it's really not. It's just not fair at all. Let's see. Do one more lap here. Home decor. I mean, again, I've got friends, furniture stores locally. They're shut down. They could sell all this stuff. You know, they can sell all of it. Lamps, you know. They can sell all this stuff, but they can't because the government said you had to close. The target gets to open, you know. So we'll do one more spin here. Uh, let me get my bearings. Go one more this way. You know, the way I feel about this is ultimately if just one customer chooses to buy a product that could have bought from me elsewhere, that remained open while I was closed. That is the government interfering in trade. They're picking winners, they're picking losers, and that is not their place. And I shouldn't have to pay for that. Not at all. That is not right. I will win on my own volition. I will win by giving my customers a great uh, service, a great product, standing by what we do and that our reviews and our business uh, say as much. But uh, yeah, either they're all sold out or they just don't have them here normally. But again, there, there's all kinds of stuff here that I could be selling right now to my customers, specifically uh, allergy proof protection, mattress protectors, new fresh pillows. I mean, think about it. Think about all the things you put your head on that you lie on. We'll walk and talk here. Think about all those things your body contacts that I could offer my customers that are clean and sanitary that uh, I can't. You know, they can't experience them. They can here. They get to come here and buy them. But, you know, nobody's stopping me. I mean, I'm kind of making, not a scene, I'm keeping space, certainly, but I'm talking where you can hear me. Other, other people have certainly heard me, you know, but nobody's stopping me. Nobody's controlling where I'm walking. None of that. I mean, now again, you know, here, look, I'm all fine with grocery. Let's, uh, let's have grocery be open. We need that. No problem. No problem at all. But none of this is essential. None of that. Nothing over here. You don't need that. You know, you, you, can, you can figure it out. You know, but, uh, you know, this side, yeah, cleaning products, cleaning supplies. Sure. That could be open. I got no problem with that. I mean, again, that's, that's necessary, but why is it, why is it that the state of Pennsylvania, why is it that the state of Pennsylvania gets to pick winners and losers right now, as it relates to, you know, imagine if you're a small appliance store, imagine if you're a vacuum cleaner store and those exist, you know, small appliance, home appliance, vacuum cleaner stores, hardware stores, they're all shut. All the independents, they're all shut. Government said, you're a loser this week. You're a loser for the next two weeks. We're gonna shut you down. But Target gets to stay open. Target gets to sell to their customer. You know, what if you're a craft store, <laughs> hobby store? You know, right now is a good time to do crafts and hobbies with your family and your kids. But the independent stores, they don't get that business. Nope, government said, you're the loser. We pick Target, we pick the big boxes at the winner. Folks, this is this is BS. This is how government comes down on the back of private business, private citizens, and ruins them. They're picking winners and losers. It's not right. And I hope you'll join me in this fight because it's meaningful. It is really meaningful on a number of fronts. And I hope we won't forget this. I hope we won't forget this moment in time.